Hi everyone, our journal page today and this page I've posted on uh, Facebook and several wanted to uh, wanted a video how I made it so I'm going to do something similar and basically it would be the background I'm not going to do the raven again this is just a printout from the web from the internet uh, I don't even remember where I got it and it was just so I will have the outline to make a um, silhouette it was and it I've made this and then I was left with the print and of course I never uh, <laughs> throw away anything and I, I used it as my focal image in this page so we are going to do and I'm, I'm going <laughs> to do a, a similar background a focal point will be something else moving this aside I'm uh, working in this sketchbook and I've glued two uh, pages together just because it seemed uh, better to work on a double uh, <laughs> the thickness and let's start so first of all I'm going to put some light blue uh, paint and this is the cheapest paint there is here it's usually for kids I really don't care what color it is I just want coverage and that's the color that works for me and first of all I'm just going to put it all over my page this is going to be the base and I've got some okay here we go so just light blue and it doesn't even have to be in this a shade you can pick up any kind of light blue that you like it really doesn't matter it just most of it is gonna get covered it's just a base <laughs> okay get out this stuff always happens on video okay got coverage and now now we are going to use sponges if you've got this kind a natural sponge is it's better but this is expensive if you don't have it any kind of a sponge is a good and we are starting we need two uh, brown colors and two well turquoise and green so I've got some uh, dark brown here and some reddish uh, brown like burnt sienna and I've got some I don't know emerald green darker green and I've got some turquoise and now we are going to play with the sponges so taking a sponge and I prefer ones that have all kinds of uh, holes in them so the texture is more interesting and I'm starting with the darker green and also trying to change direction so I won't have the same pattern over and over again trying to keep the darker uh, color to my uh, edge and lighter towards the inside and if I feel I don't like the pattern I will just change the placement on the sponge so and you don't need uh, for anything to uh, get dry first just continue I'm now taking the turquoise and going on top of this green so they mix up like 
conexão. And now it's just playing until you like what you have. I'm uh, keeping this light blue right now uh, free in the middle and I'm changing a uh, to the darker uh, brown same thing as I've done with the green trying to keep the darker color to do it to the edges and changing how I put the sponge here. I'm moving on to the burnt amber, burnt sienna, whatever. <laughs> really doesn't matter. Not sure about this color. Maybe add, I'm going to add a little bit of this. Uh, what is this? Uh, it's called rust whatever some kind of orange just and I'm mixing it it really doesn't matter you use whatever shades you like and what works for you and if it doesn't work just add something change as you go okay and if I feel it's not working Again, just, it doesn't have to be uh, the exact same thing as before. So I'm going back to the turquoise and now I'm going here in the middle. So you see I have the light blue picking out and I'm going with the turquoise on top of both sides and then it smerges uh, or <laughs> blends more so that's the start and I'm gonna put this like this and okay Next, I need a little bit more of this turquoise. And I'm going to do some splattering. I'm uh, going to use a fan brush once I've located it. <laughs> it was supposed to be here somewhere. Where is my fan brush? Okay, found. So, with water. So I can do a nice splatter going like this and it just helps everything to come together in a more organic way, at least I think so. Okay. I need for this to uh, completely be dry before we continue. I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm moving on uh, to the next phase and it's making marks or uh, printing or stamping, however you want to call it. And I'm going to use some uh, metallic bronze. You can do copper, whatever you like. You can do a uh, gold and I'm gonna use, well, uh, I've got these stamps uh, that are made from thick uh, craft foam that I made the indentation with a soldering iron and I've got this stamp and I got this uh, silicone uh, trivet. Uh, either way, it can be all kinds of stuff. Uh, circle, lids, whatever you want to use, uh, the inside of masking tape, anything can make marks and just play with it. So I'm going to take a, this is a makeup sponge and dip a little bit into this bronze. I'm dabbing the excess and just 
going to put some and I'm not concerned about having a great print it's all about making details in the back that won't overwhelm the focal image don't know how much of it you can see but it's here and just adding like so I'm just dabbing so I won't have too much access Let's try on the silicone trivet. I'm not going to do the whole thing. It's quite large for this page. And I don't know how much of this uh, acrylic paint will uh, take on this silicone. I'm trying. What can, <laughs> what's the worst that could happen? This is nice. So as you can see, it's just adding interest to your background. Use whatever you have. Yeah. And I think that I want some of the bronze splatter so I'm gonna take a little bit weighed water need more water it's too thick I'm not going and I'm not doing the same exact a uh, thing I've done in the other page it's just boring to try and copy something I have already did. Okay, once again, this needs to be dry before I try anything on top of it. I'll be back. I'm back. So, I decided that I want uh, to darken the edges, so I've put here some... Uh, darker brown that I had uh, before than I had before and I'm just taking some hard bristle brush and I want to go very I uh, don't know it's not gently I just want to add some brush strokes I don't want it a uh, even I just want grungy darker edges so I'm trying to use it carefully but not in terms that it would be perfect just grungy that's why I picked a hard bristle brush Okay, I like it. So I've got this and I want just, I'm not sure but I'm gonna try. I want a little bit more detail and now I want to stamp with the turquoise. And let's put some here. 
don't know why just going with the feeling and let's see let's try this uh, stamp this I've bought it in I think it was Prague and I think it was supposed to be for textile <laughs> but whatever trying to put some I'm not using the whole thing it's too big for this page just picking some detail and we'll see eh. mostly <laughs> hardly seen on the page never mind oh I like it <laughs> Let's do another one. Yeah, I really, really like it now. So let's be adventurous and maybe I will take from this uh, burnt sienna. Maybe I'll switch to this side. I, I didn't even uh, clean my sponge. Let's see. Again, hardly noticeable. But I tried it. Okay, interesting background. I can move on uh, for my focal image once it's dry. I don't want everything to mix. I'll be back. And I'm back. I'm gonna stencil my focal image. I'm gonna uh, do it with this uh, stencil that I made and I, I was going to use black for some kind of silhouette but then decided to go with the dark brown that I've already got here. So I'm uh, putting this here, taking a little bit and dabbing for excess. And here we go, one flower down, I want another one, eh, let's go with this one, and just one more. I think I'll use this one, yeah, and a little bit overlapping. Now I need for this to be dry before I continue. I'm planning on doing some fine line uh, with a light blue on top of it to give it more a uh, definition and more details and <laughs> we'll see so I uh, need this to dry I'm thinking of using a, a what they call a jelly pens these are just from my cheap store and we'll see if they will work if not I'll uh, try something else yeah let's hope this will work still wet don't have patience and that's how I always uh, ruin all kinds of uh, pens. Let's see. Not as uh, noticeable as I hoped it would be maybe a little bit of the white yeah I'll put white on top of each uh, 
petal just for a little bit of highlight and I will continue with the lighter uh, the light blue just like for veins I don't know how what to call this maybe I've got some glittery ones maybe it would be more noticeable on top of this very dark brown no okay and what do I have here no also glittery glittery ones so maybe just add a little bit of white in between let's see good intentions but it doesn't <laughs> it doesn't uh, look like I wanted it to look uh, let's see I think I have more jelly pans <laughs> maybe one of these will work and be more noticeable that depends if they are working because they stop working so fast now not gonna happen maybe this one <laughs> nope okay so I'm gonna uh, continue with the white and this uh, light blue and if I don't like it I will go in with some acrylic paint and a fine brush and we'll see where it goes I'll be back okay so I'm not satisfied with what's going on with the, my flowers and uh, they don't pop on the page I've uh, tried and added a little bit of a gold on top of each petal not so much <laughs> don't like it I'm now using a stabilo all-purpose and I'm planning on going underneath and in between just to darken and maybe it will help so just putting it on and I will activate it with water let's hope maybe this will help things so fine brush and let's put a little bit of water here and I'm gonna do it very <laughs> gently not sure about it yet not willing to give on it give it up <laughs> I'm hoping that by darkening the area uh, near it it will be more uh, noticeable okay maybe it's better <laughs> okay so I want a stem for uh, this I'm just using this a uh, permanent uh, 
marker and let's take some black one okay and now I'm using an acrylic pen this is a gold and just adding some well I think pollen in the middle and 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 <laughs> uh, now I want some text and uh, with the raven I just uh, wrote by hand uh, from uh, some of the words from Edgar Allan Poe the Raven uh, here I just think I'm gonna stamp something and call it done let's see okay so I've got some handwritten script here and Tuxedo black, momento tuxedo black. It's just one more detail in the background. I don't need the acrylic look. It can hardly be seen. I think I need to re-ink. Never mind. I'm going with it. <laughs> yeah, taking shape. I like it. Okay, so let's take a step back yeah i think i'm done i like it it wasn't what i was expected i hoped this uh, lines would be more a uh, prominent but i'm leaving it be i hope you liked it i hope you'll try something uh, to play with this kind of background thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now